Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, True Fat Guy Podcast in association with Psycho Worldwide and One My Entertainment probably brings to you two of the greatest podcast hosts in all of the world. I am Crazy Captain. He is Dad Jones, and we are two. Fat guys, podcast. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What it do? What it do? What it do? As I said before, this is your man Kevin Crazy Gross coming live to you from the Two Fat Guy Podcast Studios, and my man Dan Jones is remote from the VA location coming to bring you another head banger this week. 
We got a stat show for y'all. Dan Jones, talk to the people. Tell them how you've been living for the past seven days, sir. I've been living large and in charge, my good friend. <laughs> you ain't got no choice but to live large because you know you're a big dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big dude, too. So, come with the territory. Real quick, real I'm quick. Big dude. Just my thoughts go down to my stomach. So that's all your food. <laughs> Shout out to the Oreos. Shout out to the Oreos. Start the season oh, off. Oh, two and O. Oh. Los Angeles Angels got whooped two days in a row. Two days in a row. And tomorrow's going to be trifecta. So shout out to the Orioles. Season opener kicked off yes, Thursday. And series for the Angels wrap up tomorrow. And it's, 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 we, we, we need good times right here in Maryland. I miss um, being up there for those days, man. Yeah, man. But we need some good times right now after what took place the other day. So, um, as we put at the top of the show, our hearts and condolences and prayers goes to those who was affected by the key bridge, uh, collapsing, um, tragedy that took place, um, Wednesday. So, uh, we do send our condolences out to you guys. I mean, Thursday, I mean, Tuesday, excuse me, send our condolences and well wishes to all the family members that could be or might have been affected. And definitely to the port workers who hold down the port on a daily basis. We know that y'all going through it right now, trying to figure out how y'all going to make ends meet. But you know, God going to get y'all through. And two fat guys will be praying for y'all. But yo, we got to get into it tonight, man. Yeah. Man, it's just one of, them, one, of them, one of them days, man. I don't know how we're going to book, but we're going to step on some toes on this one. And like I said before, it's opinionated, but it's all going to be worth it. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, it's yeah, but mine's going to be right, though. I already called it an accident. You, you said that last week. And, um, but no, that was it last week when we did the, uh, the uh the uh WrestleMania entrances countdown and you was like, I'm gonna be nobody is gonna tell me I'm wrong. And I and I told you you you, you were wrong a couple times. You can't. What Listen, I because it's my opinion. Just because it's your opinion don't mean it's right. Yes it did. No it don't. <laughs> Look, I grabbed the phone. Opinions are like buttholes. Everybody got one. Opinions so, are like the weatherman. What? <laughs> are like the weatherman. They say one thing and it does something else. <laughs> That's not what an opinion is, yeah. Yeah, it is. Because my no, opinion, no. I say one, I say one thing, it don't never happen. That's just just because you you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not a good prognosticator. Is that the word? I don't think that's the word. I don't think prognosticate is the word. But cuss at me one more time. Don't, don't cuss at me. Prognosticate is a college word. You know what? <laughs> Call Roman brains. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my man Ill Wills who's joining in for the first time. Shout out to you. And <laughs> When he mean by go take a walk, that's an inside joke between between the click that I'm, I'm run with here. So I can't take the walk right now, Mr. Williams. As you can see, I'm working. But thank you for joining us. Oh, in the game. <laughs> oh, Sean was right. Sean said, Sean said I was using the correct word. Thank you, Sean. It is by Nasticator. I was right. I went to college, Spell goddammit. It. <laughs> Spell it. Spell it. Stop, Spell asking it. Asking a person, stop asking a person with dyslexia to spell a word with over five syllables. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh Lord Jesus. All right, y'all. As I said, we are um we are doing WrestleMania 40 uh predictions tonight. And I'm looking forward. I know Dan got his thoughts. I got out my thoughts. And just to let y'all know, once again, how this show works, we come up with a topic. He and I go our separate ways until we come back to this day. We talk throughout the week, of course. Whatever my thoughts are, or my thoughts, whatever his thoughts and his thoughts, we don't share until tonight. So, one match 
Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. A match got added to the WrestleMania card this morning. And that match is six women tag match. Damage Control versus Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jay Carhill. And Dan Jones has affect has affectionately named them what? Team Ebony. <laughs> That'll be the last time you use that reference, okay? <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm not lying. Look, my brother. <laughs> Which you go with, Team Ebony, the glowish storm, or, you know. First of all, glowish, it's not a word. <laughs> I understand we both went to Baltimore City Public Schools, but there's some words, and, we, and we're both from Baltimore, but there's some words that we just can't let go, okay? And, and, and Stormy is, is one of them. Okay, or Storm is. Either one, I'm not a word, okay? <laughs> Isaiah just hey man, Isaiah this. said it's a squash match. I, I would pray it's a squash match for the sister, especially since it's Jay Carhill debut. So I am going to go with that. That, that was I really haven't thought about the match outcome because this just hit not too long ago, but I had to make sure I added to the uh, show. Um, but no, I think it is going to be a nice squash match for them. I wish it was almost just a regular tag match with the Kabuki Warriors and Naomi and Bianca for the tag titles. And that'd be nice to see, like you said, two sisters get the tag belts again because that's been a while yeah. since, since Bianca, not Bianca, who was it? Who was the last sister? Was it, it was Sasha Naomi. Naomi? Yeah, Sasha, Sasha Naomi. Naomi. I'm sorry, so, Monet. No, no, Sasha Banks. Uh, she, we ain't gonna talk about her lack of CEO power. <laughs> CEO, <laughs> she ain't running nothing over the AEW yet. Them Raiders is telling the truth. Um, what? Just like this. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We're not gonna do that. All right, so yes, yes, we are. Bring it back. Bring it back. <laughs> Isaiah said they definitely get the belts probably the week after WrestleMania, I'm guessing. That's what I'm hoping. That's going to be one of those uh, after WrestleMania things. That's, you know, and that's one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, also the possible fallouts from said matches. So, but I guess we all are in agreement, Dan Jones, that the, as you call them, Team Ebony is going to come out victorious and Jay yeah. Carter is going to get her first uh, WrestleMania. Victory, and that also means that Naomi stays undefeated. And Bianca, that's who I meant because <laughs> Naomi is not undefeated at WrestleMania. <laughs> it's it's too hell. Side note, you saw Raw, right? I mean, I mean, SmackDown, right? Yeah, did you see when Bianca and Naomi was hugging? I'm just gonna yeah. leave it at that. <laughs> I told y'all I was going to be a Christian tonight. Keep pushing that button. <laughs> oh, man. So, that's that's what that's what that's going to be. Um, I think Jay Carhill is going to get most of the ring time just because she's new. And because we really didn't see much of her in the Royal Rumble. Um, but I also feel like there's a lot of people, women-wise, in the locker room who have been putting work all year. And Jay Carhill, granted, she does have a name, but just steps in. And um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking at Sean's comment. I'm about to put it up now. Um, He's right. <laughs> He's right. He's right. So I have a question for you. <laughs> Yo, first we before go go no, go ahead. No, I have a question for you. I go ahead. Oh, my bad. And I want everybody to answer this. Who has the best pen, Ray Ripley or Jay Cargo? Who? Because I'm telling you, Ray Ripley. While, while they trying to figure that out, Isaiah did just say, or oh, AEW, this is us, or her chance to prove herself. It really was nobody oh. over there for her to fight. Sean said, damn. <laughs> it was Rhea Ripley no. coming is, is crazy. 
It is. It is. It is. And I don't it's like very, it's very unique. I don't like the fact that you just asked that question. But um, I do. Um, I'm gonna pick Jay. It, it's it, it just, it's the tongue. It was the tongue. <laughs> Yeah, Nikita Lions pen is crazy. Yo, how pen? That's like being that's like being a biscuit smothered in gravy, yo. It's just I want to be the biscuit. Right, exactly. Yeah, I want to be the biscuit too. Uh <laughs> yeah, that Christian stuff is out the window today. And me being the Christian's out the window today. Yep. <laughs> Yep, I tried. Between you, you try. Isaiah, and Sean, bro, I tried so much, bro. You know what's funny? If Sean didn't bring the pin up, we'd have never went there. So thank you, Sean. <laughs> she, she did the whole. I said, God yeah. damn. Yeah, when she leaned back and stuck th- the tongue out, I was like, oh, my Lord. That's how, that's how you're going to close the show? That's how you're going to close the show? Isaiah said, but do you want the sweaty cheeks? On you with Nikita Penn. Uh, yeah. I ain't got no shame. Yeah, Isaiah. Cheating like Kevin Hart. Come here. Come here. Right. Come here. Come here. Uh-uh, come here. Woohoo. <laughs> Just, just make sure you got a towel. <laughs> Wipe my face off. <laughs> I am the towel. <laughs> nope, not doing this today. <laughs> he said, so her pen's the best, LOL. <laughs> yes. You know why I want to be part of the conversation when she wins? <laughs> Told you. This conversation went way left. <laughs> Cow. I love you guys. <laughs> Right. So, we're going to bring it back, <laughs> and we're going to stick with the theme of tag teams. All right, so we... <laughs> you don't mention them to put in tag team, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sean said it's not my fault. So, you having a Snitsky moment, yo? You having a Snitsky moment? <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Because dealing with them, I'm going to need customer service. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> Yo. Hey, hey Sean, <laughs> tag. <laughs> tag. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to need you to get some ice cream. made my phone tap out. <laughs> Isaiah said, man, blame the producers. <laughs> so that means we got to blame Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, uh, no, 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 uh, no. What's my man's no. name? Jordan, Jordan something. <laughs> the one that's supposed to be Kurt Angle's illegitimate child. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so, so okay. I I'm blame them for not putting them on TV more often. <laughs> well, you know she injured. So nope. she should be coming back soon, though. Not doing it. Okay. Yeah, thank you, IJ, Isaiah Jason Jordan. Thank you. Yeah. He is one of the producers on um on um NXT. Billy and Raw. Really crazy. Oh, Jesus. All right, okay. Back back to work, yo. So we got the undisputed WWE tag team championship six pack tag team ladder match. <laughs> And before y'all say something, this is how it's officially listed on the WWE.com website. This is how they have it listed. Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship Six-Pack Tag Team Ladder Match. So listen, <laughs> I wonder if we have many times Michael Cole said at WrestleMania, bro. Joe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So I don't drink. I don't drink heavy, so he said too I'll much. Drink. I say it's too drink much. For you. I'll drink for you. Don't so, worry about it. So here we go. This is for everybody. If y'all drink or not, you get Kool-Aid, get a soda, do whatever. Every time you hear Michael Cole say undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship six-pack tag team ladder match, you got to take a shot of something. 
I'm going to be on my ass. I hope it's night one. Jeez. At least McMahon isn't monitoring Cole's headphones. Yes. Thank you, Isaiah. You are so true, sir. <laughs> Sean said you'd be dead. <laughs> Yo! So, yeah, every time you hear Michael Cole say this, <laughs> undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship six-pack tag team ladder match, you got to take a shot or something. Like I said, if you don't drink, that's fine. Get some Kool-Aid, get a Pepsi, <laughs> get some get some tea. <laughs> Not Long Island. Not Long Island, just regular tea, okay? <laughs> you said you drink, so... Hey, you gonna be in Philly for the weekend? The weekend of WrestleMania. <laughs> Enjoy. All right, yeah, but <laughs> <I will. laughs> hey, you going to a wedding? You crazy? <laughs> she don't. Yo, look what Naeem said, yo. <laughs> Eighteen hundred on deck. <laughs> And hey, bro, Isaiah, said, name, bro. Isaiah said we wouldn't make it past we wouldn't make it past night one. I wouldn't make it past the commentary before the show come on. <laughs> oh my god. You know Booker T gonna try to say it and he gonna be like, shut it up, you crack crack. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, you know what? I just remember standing deliver is also Saturday morning. Or like early afternoon or something like that before. Yeah, that's what Yeah, so I'll be watching that. <laughs> Speaking of Booker I got T, some more food stamps, I'll come and see it. Say what? If I got some more food stamps, I'll go and see it. Stop talking. So, the participants in this match, because you just say if you had more food stamps. Why, you know? Why? <laughs> Why? Is this still about the lady? Is this still show. about the lady that you know? That's a wrong show, yo. Wrong brain. Yeah. Uh, is Booker T high before NXT? LOL. Isaiah said that. I don't know. I like it. He is. <laughs> yeah, because his voice be all over the place. The Chucky Doggy. What? No. Hold on, bro. It's so sad. He makes Trick uh, Williams sound so likable, bro. First of all, is 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 are they getting paid for that every time they chant whoop that trick? Yeah. They, they need to be. Because if Terrence Howard not getting paid. Oh, he don't get paid for that. No. Oh, side note. Speaking of that, you know how he got ganked on that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, because the way they did it. Because they didn't put the song under his real name, they put it under the character's name as the artist. Yo, why? You, who's RKO on your phone? Jesus. <laughs> Yo, you looking real unprofessional, right? Now. Stop. You know what? I think you're absolutely right. He was like that down at RTNA. Rangers, go to your stations. Rangers, stop. stop. Can we, can, we, can we get to the participants in this match, please, yo? I wish you would. I had the Zordon moment, bro. Yo, so the participants in this match is new. Sorry. It's Judgment Day, of course. <clears throat> Defending champions. Uh, new Catch Republic, which is Pete Dunn and. Oh, you fucking stupid. <laughs> Tyler, yo. <laughs> New Day versus DIY versus Austin Perry and Grayson Waller and versus Awesome Truth. So who you got? Oh, I got Awesome Truth. Now it feel like it's up in the way. Now you said three six mafia is awesome coins for that song also. <laughs> it's like a lot of people didn't get paid for that song. Who you got? If I don't have awesome truth, I got DIY. All right, so Sean just said DIY in the chat. 
Um, I'm going awesome truth because their storyline is much deeper than what's been going on. Isaiah said, um, you catch Republic or awesome truth. And Naeem says, my money is on DIY. Mm. So basically, anybody but Judgment Day. <laughs> <laughs> no, anybody but Judgment Day and Austin Theory. <laughs> Great to watch. Yo, you know what? They fucking around to do that. Triple H, that'll be the ultimate swerve because wouldn't nobody expect them to win. Triple H would do some mess like that. That's a, that's a Stephanie McMahon move. <laughs> yeah. But you want to ruin my storyline? Want to ruin my storyline? I'm just going to change everything. That's a corporate ministry move. <laughs> All right, so... He said, "Now you said, yeah, run with that." <laughs> I don't know if he's being sarcastic or serious. No, that run done. Tell my judgment day. Huh? the judgment day run is over. Now I, I, I hope so. Cause yo, so I know you and I. That would be okay. That will okay update be great. What that we what? They're horrible. Who's horrible? Like Isaiah, you just said two messages through and I'm confused, y'all. <laughs> that we okay update be great, but tell my Austin Perry in there. I saw I'm I'm thinking that's where he's coming from. Yeah. Austin Perry. That's what he said, Austin Theory. I mean, that would be horrible, but it would be funny at the same time. No. Yeah, it would be. I don't think I don't, I don't got it happening, you know. But if you're a betting person, um, no, it's all good, Isaiah. But if you're a betting person, I'm putting my money on Awesome Truth, and that's just because they have a deeper storyline. Um, with everything that's been going on with Judgment Day between Truth, uh, uh Miz, and uh, Regeneration X. <laughs> My man said, "Awesome truth with DX." I said, "Bro, the fact that they're going around calling it a regeneration action, I was like, why? Y'all? The fact he keep calling it DIY DX. I don't know what kind of perks he on you, but he got stopped. Yo, our truth gets paid a lot of money to be the best comic relief for all the wrestling, yo. I don't care. Yeah. I love the man for that, and he wrestled better than half the, cause his age. So." <laughs> You got people half his age, and he still out wrestles them any given night of the week. And yes, Austin Theory is very boring, Naeem. I agree with you. <laughs> Isaiah said, Regeneration X, laughing my ass off. And then Naeem came in, Awesome Truth is too gimmicky. They would lose on the first defense. They will have, like have like a six month run, watch. Yeah, I think if they get on the belt, they're going to run with them. At least until Saudi, just before they even probably gonna drop them before Saudi or, or at Saudi, but they'll definitely drop before SummerSlam if they get them, or they may have them drop them in Money in the Bank. We still ain't figure out what Money in the Bank is. Did somebody in the chat tell us when Money in the Bank is? Because I know that's across seas. That's gonna be another one of those European PLEs. I know WrestleMania Backlash is going to be in France. Yeah, but I think Money in the Bank is like in Germany. Oh, okay. Remember, Next, Austin Theory was the chosen one by VKM. That is very true. Oh, he said it's in May. So they may get a run to May. A oh, lot. Uh, they may get a run into May. So can we talk about VKM real quick? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no. Come on. No, let's no. do it. We want to talk about Punk and that promo that him. Uh, uh, Seth Rollins and, 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 and uh, Drew McIntyre cut Monday night. Awesome truth on paper could only be Alpha. Damn, Naeem, that's hard, yo. That's harsh. <laughs> when, so I don't know if y'all know or not, but Triple H gave them free range to a degree. 
they told them what to go talk about, and they let them improv that entire promo segment. And when Drew McIntyre said that he was the chosen one, Punk literally went and said to him, I know most of y'all seen it, who said that? Who said you were the chosen one? And Drew got stuck. Because Drew knows he can't say VKM. <laughs> if he does, guy, he's fired. <laughs> Pump this kept saying, Pump this cap going. Who said who said you the chosen one? Say his name. Say his name. Say his name. <laughs> Lord Voldemort. I'm mad at you. Drew is money right now. He can't do no wrong. Ah. Yes, he can if he moves. <laughs> Great comeback. Great comeback went for the juggler. Right. Right. Like, like. I don't think Punk's the one that you want to go toe-to-toe with when you don't have a script. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> All right, so we've all decided that either just everybody but Austin Theory and Jasmine Day has the chance of winning this match. So we got absolutely no way on this question. But I'm saying awesome truth. You said awesome truth. Naeem said DIY. And I forgot what Sean said. Hold on. Naeem said DIY. Sean said DIY. And Isaiah said either DIY or awesome truth. Hold on. Isaiah said they got Drew as the ultimate hater. I say they have McIntyre lose. I think McIntyre's going to win. Because huh? McIntyre's going to win, but Damien's going to cash in. I hope not. I hope I Drew wins. So. No. I, I don't want... I really don't want Damian Priest to tap the cash in, yo. I just want all his cash in attempts to be failures. Like, every time they go to cash, I'm going to get interrupted. That's what I want. I like what they've been doing with this. I want him to be the first person to go a whole year and not cash in money in the bank. No, 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 no. Why I not have been done yet? I need Drew to win and then get the cash in. So he'll have his big moment winning at WrestleMania in front of all these people, but it's short lived. Yeah, but then you got to think about when Punk come back. Punk's not going to Sean said that contract is dust as dust doing it. <laughs> I'm dead. Who we got next? All right. So what we got next, sir, is. L.A. Knight versus A.J. Styles. I forgot all about them. I'm not even interested in this match. I kind of am, yo, because I think a lot of people still sleep on L.A. Knight. A.J. doesn't feel like Macho Man, bro, from WCW. <laughs> I think A.J. is going to be the one to actually help this man shine. Uh, hold on. So... Isaiah said Drew's losing would make sense. It would. And no one cares about AJ. Says not I mean, I need, I, need, I need AJ back from New Japan or TNA with the regular with the shape up. <laughs> now, I, I didn't like the fact how he came back because he blamed, not like, first of all, I, I, I mean, I know how the world of, of sports entertainment slash professional wrestling works. But when AJ came back and said um that eight that LA took his spot and he was opposed it was it was almost like who was it? Oh my god, who was it that did that? It should have been me thing. Raven? No, no, later. Um, somebody- Mustafa Ali? Yeah, Mustafa. But it was somebody else other than other than Mustafa. Oh, Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. 
what Dolph Ziggler was doing. It should have been me. It should have been me in the world title match. It should have been me being world champion. That's what this AJ Styles thing reminds me of. And then he got speared 27 times by Goldberg. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. AJ Styles still the show on a bunch of WrestleManias. I'm assuming you mean WrestleManias because I, I, I know the Y and the T are close to each other, but I got you, I said. Um, and Sean says, he, Sean says AJ Styles for the win. But that's because Sean don't like LA Knight. So, but LA Knight got the entire world saying his name. Yeah! So. I mean, I don't like Dwayne Austin either, but I think he's going to win. <laughs> what you call that man, yo? Dwayne Austin. Oh my god, that's what I thought you said. That's what I thought you said. I said, No disrespect to him, but it's Dwayne Austin. <laughs> it's what it is. LA Knight, LA Knight for the win by Isaiah. Sean is laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> and Isaiah oh, agreed. No, so but, but they laugh in agreement with you because it was funny. Dwayne right, Austin. Only wrestling fans get what I said. Dwayne Austin. Talks like Dwayne. <laughs> you dress like Austin. <laughs> Borderline wrestles like Austin, too. Right. Like you said, L.A. Knight was it to Cody and Punk and the real rock. Hey, <laughs> back. My man said, Mama Rose, look at your boy. Look at <laughs> Yeah. He was like, yeah, come in. Yeah, I ain't through with you yet. I ain't through with you yet. Nah, come in. <laughs> Told you, Mama Rose, I'm going to keep my promise. Told you, Mama Rose. <laughs> Yo, how he corrects Cody's face was crazy. He said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he said clear. Know. Clear. No, fuck that. <laughs> oh yeah, the aftermath, yo. The aftermath. Why you so mad, bro? Hey, I'm dead, bro. Your boy not hearing you. <laughs> what do you hold up? Hold on. Because I'm not keeping up. Did you see the unedited version of it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Naive with that's how I'm whipping kids. I hey, just fucking now. Yo, I'll put it in my wrestling group. Yo, if y'all on Facebook, shout out to Wrestling Live, uh, Wrestling Live. Excuse me, that's my man Isaiah and a couple of our crew members. Our wrestling uh, Facebook group, join them, follow them. They are fanatic. And Isaiah, like we always trip, we always used to call Isaiah the Rick Flair the crew. <laughs> Isaiah the Ric Flair the crew, but this dude, this dude's like the Jim Cornette and Paul Heyman, like he's a walking encyclopedia of wrestling knowledge. This shit is ridiculous. Dog. That would make me visceral. <laughs> no, no, no. Now he said, "Look at him, look at your boy, Mama Rose." <laughs> Hey, you go to um. Oh my god. Uh, KO versus KO versus LP. Now, the dude, you calm down. I'm doing the order here. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> You're not my type. <laughs> you got me cursing. I don't like. I like the split, not the stick. <laughs> don't get us canceled, y'all. You about to get us demonetized. We need to make no money yet. Uh, <laughs> Please don't be visceral. His finishing move is horrible. Yeah. All right, yo. So, I, who you got in the LA Night AJ Styles match? Um, Dwayne Austin. Dwayne Austin. I also have LA Night. Because he, he is due. He done caught some bad L's. <laughs> All right, the next match is going to be Uso 
versus Uso. We got brother versus brother. Jimmy Uso versus Jimmy J Uso. Naeem said AJ for for for, for his prediction. Um, yo, you Jay came out Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks back and, and called his brother out. My man said Uso versus Uso. Twin versus twin, me versus me, whatever, whatever, everything else he's saying. And then that Friday, what did Jimmy do, yo? What did Jimmy do? I mean, the year. <laughs> Move, brother, they're talking about big noise. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, let me get it right, let me get it right. He said, you keep forgetting before you the tag team champion, longest reigning. You were my little brother. Yo, this is the best Jimmy has been since he came back, yo. I ain't gonna stand. Excuse me. I ain't gonna the face, he was like, I got you. <laughs> yo. Yo. Oh, Isaiah, this, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is why we call him the encyclopedia. My man said the brother who gets the short stick, who gets the short end of the stick normally wins, which has been Jack. And then he hits you back with the history has proven it. Owen Hart over Bret Hart. Jeff, he said, Jeff, me, I can keep going with you. <laughs> I can keep going with you. I think Jimmy going to win though, bro. Hold on, now you said real talk. Jay gets Jay gets a lot of shine, but I love Hill Jimmy. Yo, I don't think Jimmy's gonna win, yo. I think Jimmy's gonna win because they gotta keep it going. Nah. First of all, brother fees you can only carry but so far. Not these two. Nah, I disagree with you. I brother agree. Fee, I know you agree differently. That's that's, that's why it's hard an opinion. No, I agree this with you. It's a big difference. These peppermints are amazing, bro. <laughs> what peppermints are you eating? Pina colada. Oh, icebreakers. Yeah. Because you eat them sucking like they dog treats or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your farts will be smelling like the forest. Huh? <laughs> I said, as many as you ate, your farts are going to be smelling like the force. What? Farts going to come on smelling like daisies. <laughs> I said the force. Whatever. To be honest. Uh, whatever. You're going to hate your major Indian wife looking at you like you're crazy. Hey, uh, crazy. I got you. No, nah, I think Jay's going to win. I think Jay's going to win because, like I said, history is showing. Like um, Isaiah said, history is showing. That's how it normally happens. And, yeah. Um, all that was in the Vince McMahon era, though. But you also got to recognize that Triple H is a, is a um, traditionalist at heart. So you never know. Naeem just said, I say Jay gets help from Oak Tonga. Or whoever is thinks I'm the other brother. <laughs> yeah, hey, first of all, shout out to my man Isaiah, bro, because he's on my side. Jimmy's going to win. Nah, Jay going to win. That's my prediction. Sticking to it. You know why? Jimmy going to win. Roman going to lose. He could be on about the bloodline and got a W. Solo will be the factor. I don't think I don't think Jim I don't think Jay going alone. I think I think Jay going I think Jay 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 going have some cover. He went to Mina. Yo, can we, where is she at? And why was she never part of the bloodline? I don't know. At this point, you never know. Like, That's the thing. Give me Naomi's in the bloodline too. She should have been from the beginning. Yeah, she should have been. It's too many young, bro. This story would never end. <laughs> I mean, evidently it's been going on for three years now, bro, so they have no intention. 
Dave been doing this blind on ever since we moved down here. I should move back. Say what? They've been doing this story ever since we moved down here. We should move back. You fuck around, move. You messing around and move back, and the story ends. That's what I'm saying, bro. But no, Thanos already snapped his fingers. It's the end now. Oh my lord, Jesus! Yo, can we? Yeah, we didn't talk about that though. When he did the whole Thanos joint, and and all of a sudden Jimmy. Jimmy and Sholo popped up, and then all of a sudden, Cody in the ring, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, wait, I didn't come alone. <laughs> yeah, they, so they comparing it, and we're not going to do that today. It's, it's an honor. Uh, I remember, yeah, we talked about that, how people said they compared it to Endgame. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. It, it made sense, but I don't like it. Nah, that's people reaching. That, that is definitely people reaching. Um, What are you doing? I'm reaching. Stop reaching. You don't wear stuff. They're here. Oh, Lord. There you go being weird again. All right. <laughs> Moving on. WWE Women's Tag. So, hold up. So, you say Jimmy, I say Jay, and everybody else said Jimmy. So, I'm the only one that's the oddball. Fine. I'm used to that. All right. So, WWE, shut up. WWE Women's Championship match. EO Sky versus Bailey. I got Bailey winning, unless there's another Japanese person coming out of nowhere to kick her. But you know what? Who? You know what? Wait. <laughs> They might pull like a judgment day thing, man. Somebody else might come out of nowhere. Oh lord! Other than that, I got in. I think WWE has reached a Japanese woman quarter. <laughs> Eo, Oscar, Kyrie. Oh, what's the other chick name that dressed like Katana for Mortal Kombat? I don't even know where the hell she at, yo. I'm talking about Azana Lee. I don't know where the hell she at. She be the bro. She bigger than a snicker. <laughs> I ain't never been looking around one like that. Hmm. <laughs> she got the real thighs. She got she you got them Chong Lee thighs. Um Isaiah said that's very predictable storyline. Bailey may win, but if by surprise Charlotte comes out of nowhere, Charlotte better go down and get that leg right. Yeah, because Charlotte is not one hundred percent yet. Who the hell? Wendy. You know what? Um, Naeem said Bailey, and then I, he was talking about Wendy Wu. Uh, and that key Wendy Wu. <laughs> you know what's funny? I just had a match against her in the game, yo. <laughs> I'm dead. Sammy versus Gunther. <laughs> oh, why you keep trying to jump my order, yo? <laughs> uh, <laughs> hold on, me too. What are you talking about, me too? I'm not even... <laughs> Nah, I mean, please explain yourself. <laughs> 2K. Oh, he just had a match against her too in the game. Oh. I, I ain't even getting it yet. I thought you were talking about the Me Too movement. I was like, I thought we was past that. All right. Bro, so. bro, 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 bro. <laughs> We're going to get canceled. I just thought we was past that as a country. That's not. All right, so I say Bailey. Who you got, yo? I got Bailey, bro. <laughs> Naeem said Bailey also. So, and I think, I don't know who Isaiah picked. Who would you pick, huh? He picked the referee. <laughs> <laughs> he said Bailey might win, so. We gonna, we gonna say we gonna say he said baby. All right, 
I think this match is going to be a lackluster match, and it shouldn't be because you're going to have two people that know how to put a clinic on as Jr. They know how to do. They know how to put a clinic on. WWE Women's World Championship. Uh, yeah, World Championship match. Rhea Ripley, Mommy versus the man Becky Lynch. Before we give our predictions, did y'all have y'all seen the stink face? <laughs> have y'all seen Rhea Ripley's stink face to Nia yeah. Jax? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yo, that is among one of the most viral videos on, on all the streaming platforms right now, yeah. And it should be. Ironically, Shayna Blazler jumped in the ring. Was like, "Me, me next, me next." See, she got it right though. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Bad squishy. Bad squishy. And there's a bitch. Oh my Lord Jesus. And there's a. Uh, I'm just gonna put that there. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that out. I was gonna put that there. <laughs> Listen. Yo, I, I he might be right, yo. There's a lot of stuff that's been getting pushed crazy lately. PG era might be over, yo. Father H has taken over. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Papa H. <laughs> Papa Listen, H. Have you seen the impulsive interview she did with Logan Paul? Who, Becky? I mean, Ray, I really, Becky. Yes. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't watch Impulsive because I don't like Logan. We've had this discussion. I legit don't honest. like Logan Paul. I'm going to be honest with you. You need to shut up and watch it. <laughs> all, all right. Because the, the Roman <laughs> Reigns interview with Pat McAfee show was hilarious. Listen, because when Logan said some true stuff, and then Rhea re- re- did, yeah, oh, God. I got Becky winning. Yeah, Becky running? Yes. Why? Huh? Why? Because it makes sense. They need to have a good robbery. Rhea hasn't had a good robbery since she won the belt. Nah. I don't not have even, a woman. Not not even with the Nia Jax thing, nah. I don't think she nah, she hasn't. She hasn't. And it's, he has a good robbery been going to win WrestleMania last year, but not since. I'll go yeah, out with her in Charlotte. Yeah, cause so so she she did she lose the belt at all this year? From WrestleMania last year to now? No. So she don't ran belt to belt like year like like the whole year yeah. run. Yeah. That's what's up. Bianca was the only other one to do that. Like she beat her. Her, Bianca was the only one the other person to do it, and she yeah. She be her best friend on TV, bro, in her home state. Who? Her best friend, um, what's that one? <laughs> LWO. Zelina? They best friends. What you mean she beat in her home state? Oh, you talking about when they went to Puerto Rico? Yeah. That's not her home state. Zelina's from New York, but she's yeah, she is Puerto Rican, but she's from New York. Same difference. No, it's not. I mean, only only thing New York and Puerto Rico got in common is the Puerto Ricans, and they're both U.S. territories. That is it. Same difference. <laughs> no. I want to say it matters between Bad Bunny and Logan Paul. No. No. <laughs> God no. I almost choked on this candy, bro. Yeah, I don't know why. I have, I have. It's not hatred, but I have a strong dislike for Logan Paul, yo. It's hatred. No, I, no, I don't hate anybody. I legit yes, don't do. hate anybody. I don't. That's like a sanitation worker in the trash man. You hate him? No, I don't. You don't like I don't. him? I don't. But I don't. Hate, I don't hate anybody. It takes too much energy to hate somebody. No, no. I refuse to give somebody that much of my time. I 
hate so, pina coladas. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Easy. All right. So you say Becky. I'm saying Becky. Who y'all got in the chat? Winning time. So say goodbye. Now it's yours. Now it's mine. Isaiah, Isaiah got rare. As much right. as I want to be true. They're not going to let her hold that belt longer to be younger. We'll see. Just because of what happened with the WrestleMania cover, with the UK cover. I mean, they both won the cover, though. So, so say goodbye. Anyway, now it's yours. Who that? So we got the. They gave her a PPV. She's going to be a face. That's what Isaiah just said about the Rhea Ripley Becky thing. All right, so here's the match that you wanted to bring up, and here we are now: World Intercontinental Championship match. Gusta the Ring General Champion versus Sammy Zay. I'm going to say Sammy. I don't know, bro. I want to say Sammy because I think under under the tutelage of 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 Master Chad Gable. <laughs> He may be actually, he may help him. But I think in return, Chad is going to want a match mm -hmm. from Sammy. He going to beat the hell out of Sammy. <laughs> and still lose. And still lose. <laughs> and still lose, bro. And this Sammy Gumpers is like being bullied by the street daughter, by the school bully, bro. You say what? This match is like being bullied by the school bully. You don't really care because you know the bully does it every day. Just a new kid on the block. Yeah, but it's going to be that one new kid all of a sudden that pops the hell out the bully and everybody like, oh, he's the chosen one. The prophecy has been fulfilled. All of a sudden, he's Spider-Man. Right. <laughs> so, I got Sammy in this. I think it's going to be interesting definitely having Sammy as an IC champion. I, I, and, and don't get me wrong, I give Gunther the credit because I really thought that his title run was going to be boring, but it hasn't been. Like, it's not like the Roman Reigns title run, but he has had a very entertaining title run, and his matches are Gable is Kurt Angle 2.0. I agree with you, I say he definitely is. Um, if Gable come with the shaved head, I'm leaving. Yeah, he ain't going to do that. His head, his forehead too. His forehead is just his forehead is his own candidate. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> nah, but um, that was I saying. Case forehead was on ten. No, uh. Wig, <laughs> wrestling head, yeah. I hate you, Sean. Uh, <laughs> nah, but I think Sammy, uh, like, look at Gunther, Gunther has a great run. And the, the thing I like about him being IC champion versus him being like a main event champion is that he actually wrestled. He actually had wrestling matches, which I like. Gunther has, been, has, Gunther has had great matches. But what are his unforgettable moves? He doesn't have any. He has unforgettable timing. Yeah. That's what makes him the rain general. He he can do the whole match blindfolded. Yeah. No, you know what? Sean's right. He does have that chop. That nice ass chop. I call Cap. You call Cap? Why you call Cap? Big Show had a better chop. Look at Kofi Kings the chest. No, but, but Big Show was the size of a damn frying pan. That's not fair. It, don't care. No, nah, bro. His hand was like eight of mine. Just, 
<laughs> Your hands still small. <laughs> Compared to big shows? Yeah, that's almost like, yeah. <laughs> Got a whole foot on his hand, bro. Right. Well, uh, like nah, beach from that man. Nah, bro. I don't care, but Gunther Chops are not the whole Jesus out of you. No. I'm going to give it to Gunther. Because I felt bad when he slapped Dominic Mysterio and his shirt ripped. I ain't feel bad for Dominic Mysterio at all. I was I was, I was, was rooting for it to happen again. So, are we going to talk about this match, too? What match? Oh, Rey Mysterio and Dragon League. Know. Yeah, we can talk about it. I don't want you, but it is on the card. And honestly, we ain't got to my predictions already. It's Ray Mysterio on Dragon League. Done. All right, done. I want you. Yeah. Gunther has a better chop. Big Joe has a cheat code with his chops. What's the cheat code? The size of his damn head. Oh, I thought it was A-B-A-C-A-B-B. No, that's the blood of Mortal Kombat. Oh. For the piss break match. I'm dead. Hold up. The Gunther. Hold up. What's the piss break match? The, the Gunther match. Oh, you tripping, Sean. That is not a piss break match. You're drunk. <laughs> Sammy gonna get slapped to the point he be no longer a ginger. <laughs> he gonna forget he's Canadian. <laughs> Hey. Oh, you talking about the Ray Mysterio match? I agree with you. That is the piss break match tonight, Sean. You are absolutely correct, sir. That is the piss break match tonight. That is the piss break match tonight. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> are you writing down piss break match tonight? Don't, don't judge me, bro. Y'all remember when the women matches was the piss break match, yo? Not anymore. Nah. Nah, I remember, like, there was a couple of times I even went over to Isaiah House or our man Leonard House of WrestleMania because we would host them at different houses or whatever. Yo, and I would go outside and smoke cigarettes during the women matches. If it was like a world title match or something like that, I didn't, nobody cared. This is that. Because those women were working just as hard as the men were. Just was not interested in them. Unless it was like, unless it was like Trish Stratus versus uh, Mickey James, <laughs> when we had actual women wrestlers. <laughs> no, I need Mickey James. She was licking herself. That was the that was the crazy Mickey James. The bra and panty matches. Lol, get out of my head, Kevin. What are you talking about, Chuck? <laughs> when you mentioned the ladies' matches. Oh my lord. Are you keeping up, sir? Yeah, but you know, sometimes these dudes be behind me. So Isaiah said piss break match. I wish Ray would go away. God damn. Ah. First of all, Isaiah, I'm in the grid with you. I'm getting tired of them. The six one nine is gonna be six one oh. So what it lost it lost nine digits, show? It did, it got slower, bro. It's gonna retire. Sean said, "Get out!" Told me to get out of his head. I, uh... Oh, uh, Isaiah said, "Braun panty matches." Lol. Sean said he was fixing to ask you if if you were taking notes. <laughs> if you yeah, were taking notes for the piss, I'm definitely going to piss during that match. I don't even want to see it. I'm gonna stay out for Don Don music. And I'm going to bathroom. Remember WrestleMania 22, Mickey James was the GOAT when she was feeling on Trish. Yes. That's what I'm talking yeah. about, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. See? Me and I say, we, we here, bro. We here. Yo. Oh, my Lord Jesus, yo. All right. So, what match was we talking about? Oh, it was, like a, it was like a little boozy video on TV. 
<laughs> BET Uncut, yo. Look what your man Sean just said, bro. The cool to clutch. <laughs> hey, bro. I can't. Is, that, is that what Donald Trump was doing? <laughs> yeah. That's what we got it from. That's the Mickey kept going around like this. He was Spider Man in their box. <laughs> And then, and then look at her hand. Like, what is going on? I like it, but what is going on? All right, yeah, we got to move on, yo. I'm not done. All right, nobody cares about the Ray Mysterio match. Move it on. All right. <laughs> United States Championship Triple Threat Match. Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. I know how you feel about Logan Paul, but I hope KO wins. I hope KO wins, too, because it wouldn't make sense for Randy to win. Well, these men are really good, bro. I got KO winning. I got KO winning also. Because KO and, 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 and Logan Paul have a deep history, have a deeper history than um, Sean said Randy. I think Randy, Randy. Gonna, Randy's going to get the all KO off. And KO is going to capitalize on the mistake and take the pin. Yeah. That is going to be the beef between KO and Randy. Isaiah said, either way, as long as Logan Paul doesn't walk off the chain, I'm good. I agree with you. But if I had to pick one, I'm going to pick KO. But either way, I'll be I'll be just as happy as a fat kid locked in a candy store in a bakery overnight. Sean, go to bed, bro. Logan and Jake Paul are going to be. You know what? That's if Jake finds his jaw at the Titan and spins it on him. Because he already told him, I'm sick of the WWE to be with your brother. <laughs> Don't spend him over there. Huh? We only need one Logan. Nope. Oh, <laughs> well. I just know one thing. If I'm watching WrestleMania and I see that damn prop logo on the middle of the fucking ring, I'm gonna be mad. You gonna see it? I, I don't think. I think it starts at SummerSlam or something. It better not be WrestleMania because yo, man, I don't like Logan Paul, yo. I respect him because the fact that he took it serious enough to actually learn how to wrestle and perform these moves, and he's a great heel. But as a human being, I can't stand him. Well, I don't know him personally. That's like me saying I hate R. Kelly. But I don't hate R. Kelly. I think Robert Kelly is a piece of trash. Mm-hmm. But I love R. Kelly's music. Uh, right. R. Kelly and Robert Kelly are two different people. But two different people. Two different people. One's the actual person, one's the persona. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you said KO, I said KO, Isaiah says whoever, and Sean said Randy. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. And we know this is taking place on night one. Tag team, The Rock, The Bloodline, Rock and Roman versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. Their name is Freaking Nightmare. I actually like that. I like Did you that. see the shirt? Did you see the shirt? No. Oh, God. They have a shirt? Yeah. Rock and Roman the Express. Rock and Roman oh, Express. Why'd you take the light down, yo? <laughs> because I got put my phone on a charger, bro. Uh, I got a droid, I'm sorry. I got a droid, too. There we go. That was great. I was just going to mute your mic so you can stop doing all that noise. Uh, <laughs> the Rock and Roman Express. Sean, go to bed. 
Um, this is past your bedtime. All right. So, what I want to happen is Seth and Cody wins. That's what I want to happen. What I think is going to happen, I think The Rock and Roman are going to win, which is definitely heavily going to affect Night 2. And when we get to that match, I'll tell you what my prediction is for that match for the uh, Undisputed Championship. But um, I want Cody and Seth to win, but I think Rock and Roman are actually going to be the victims in this. Um, I don't know how and I don't know why, but I think they're going to win. Uh, I'm with the I'm with Rock and Roman because the regular one, two, three match we did it last year. Need to raise the stakes. If you want Captain America to win, you got to raise the stakes. Just like in Civil War. Uh, right. <laughs> ironically, which I watched today. Uh, <laughs> Good goddamn cinema. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's sometime next month. I'm going to get into all that next month. I'm sorry. All right, so we all said the Rock and Roman. Yep. Um, Let me leave two matches left. Roman got to get booed twice. See, I'm about to jump into that, Sean. We're going to jump into that in a minute. That's going to be the match we're going to talk about last. Now we're going to talk about the uh, World Heavyweight Championship match with Seth freaking Rollins versus the Celtic Warrior Drew McIntyre. Um, CM Punk. You complete me. I think Drew's going to win, but I don't think Damien's going to cash in. I think if Damien cash in, it'll be Monday, and he's going to the cash in. Come on, bro. I do. I need somebody. First, you got to set up because Seth got to take time off. Seth is taking time off, period. All right, let's mm-hmm. talk this. He's going to take time off. His, his time off is probably going to run with Roman's time off and then Roman possibly loses Sunday. <clears throat> but my point is you setting up, you got to set up Drew and Punk. And when Punk comes back, then you have that match. Punk takes the belt off of Drew. Then you set up Seth. And it is thundering outside. And you set up Seth. <laughs> Punk. Oh man, possibly, sure. for Summer, possibly for SummerSlam. Which is the which is the what as they like to call it the the the, the summer WrestleMania. So that will be the marquee match. Punk and um Punk and, 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 and Seth for the title. But they don't I even need that. the belt. They <laughs> yeah, Isaiah, I heard it too. They don't need a belt to have that match, bro. But if you put no, you don't need a belt to have that match. But if you put the belt on, if you put the belt in the midst of that match, in the midst of that robbery, it amplifies it because now Punk can go around and say, "I've been the champion that you wish you were. I've been the true champion of the people." The, that's if Punk don't turn heel. Let's say they keep Punk a face and Seth comes back to heel, then yeah, Punk can be I've been the champion that they need. I've been the champion that's been here. Yeah. I'm telling you, I think that works out better. Let me sit my fat ass up. I don't want. I want Drew to win. I just want to be cash man. I wonder. I don't. I don't. I don't think CM Punk should win it right now. Well, he's not going to win it right now. He's going to win it in a couple months when he come back. <laughs> I don't want him to win it in a couple months. Why? For what? 
Look, I ain't got nothing against Drew, but Drew don't sell out arenas. I mean, yeah, that's true. Drew don't sell out arenas. Punk sold out arenas just because of the thought of him coming. And this is during his seven-year hiatus. Yeah. Or ten years, however long he was gone from wrestling before he went back to AEW. Mm-hmm. Even if somebody said a rumor that Punk was going to be at a WWE show, the, the place sold out. And they chat and see him. Punk, he's like, no, he's not here. But they sold out, though. Drew McIntyre doesn't sell out arenas. Unfortunately. But I do think Drew's going to win. Isaiah said, I think Drew will win and they have a triple threat between Punk, Damien, and Drew. Man. Either way, I don't know how Damien Priest winning the world title. Yeah. <laughs> and I that's don't. sad. It's not sad as reality. Like, Damien Priest. They, they, yeah, at, at the mania, yeah. Damien Priest, because we can't have another heist of the century cash in during WrestleMania. Like, that's a once in a lifetime thing. And they need to do that after we're dead. Um, yeah, but I don't think Damien, because Damien Priest is another one who, he's a great worker, but he's not a main eventer. Damien oh, yeah. Priest fashion does write off. You're right, it does write off stuff. Like, it, that, that can be one of the ways he acts it out. But I don't think Damien Priest is going to win. Like, that's just, that's just my opinion. I'm just one lonely fat black guy. You know? But as far as WrestleMania goes, Drew McIntyre is going to walk out as well after a champion. And Damien Priest, but we're going to probably get a rematch. Seth is going to call out Drew for a rematch. He's probably going to grant it the rematch with Raw at the Mania. And that's when Damian Priest is going to try to cash in. And he's going to be unsuccessful. Drew's going to retain. That's why you aren't in judgment. You're absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> but I think Drew is going to retain on Raw. He's going to retain on Raw against Seth. Beating up, torn tight, whatever, beating him at it. Damien Priest is going to try to come out, cash in, and he gets clean order. Over. Mm. I hope so. Come on, Damien. <laughs> you sound so sad. <laughs> I don't like Drew. Huh? I don't like Drew. Why you don't like Drew? I don't like Drew as much as you like Logan Paul. Gotcha. Yep. All right, y'all. So we have come to the finale match, which we know is going to be the main event match of night two. Um, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Why can't they just call it the WWE Universal Championship? Jesus Christ. Because Mama Rose is going to be there. Um, Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. I'm not, I'm not messing with you, y'all. You look good. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo. Do you think Cody's going to finish the story? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop saying I don't know because you just said I don't know. It's like the last four questions, the last four predictions. I All need right. an answer from you. Maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it a buck with you. No, I think Roman's gonna win. Why? I think Thanos is still going to retain. Thanos. <laughs> They gonna let him break Bruno San Martino's record at SummerSlam. 
Nah. If they Johnson. don't... Go ahead. If they, if they don't let him break it, SummerSlam, he beats the record for Bruno. If they let him do it, and then Cody's a goat. And Cody don't even have to wrestle no more after that. But he still is, though. Yeah, when well, you just spent two years trying to chase his one belt that you couldn't get. All right, so John said, nope. The never-ending reign continues. Isaiah chimed in and said, too much riding on the finish, the story theme, even to the point of a video game marketing strategy. Come on, Cody wins. He got a point. He got a point. So this is why I think, right, this is why I say what I said about the tag match, because now you got some more rules involved, which means anything goes. And then we go back and listen to all the stuff that Dwayne has been saying as far as like your story's ending and ours is just beginning, but he looked at Roman when he said that. When they threw up the one sign and he went like this. Right. Losing. Losing. Then also when he made Rock acknowledge him, then now all of a sudden the Rock's going around calling himself the final boss. And they tease Austin and uh, off 2K13. Uh, um, it was a comment that Sean just left. And, um, and remember, so at first I was thinking Roman might win. <clears throat> and this is why. Because last time Roman had a major match in Philly was the Royal Rumble. Who was that? It's not at the time. The way. What was that match supposed to be? Him passed the torch to him. What happened? Philly, in all Philly fashion, booed him out the building. They wanted Daniel Brown to win. Right. Now, Roman, in the A&E the A documentary that's coming on for, um, this Sunday, there was a quote taken from that where he said, Philly is something that doesn't leave you. It did not go the way we expected. I wasn't see, wasn't expecting to get booed. So that's something that sticks with you. So at first I'm like, well, damn, maybe they'll have him going there and win and get booed again. But no, he was going to get a standing ovation. Right. I think he's going to lose in Philly. Good technically, that's where it all started. Exactly. That's really when it all started. Started with The Rock and with The Rock. And then now you want to have the rivalry with him and The Rock. Uh, it's That's because he was the corporate choice at The Rumble. Now, we get that, Sean, but the fact that you can take that and I mean, like, if you really think about it, probably nobody did until Triple H came along. That's that's ultimate long-term storybooking right there, because that was like, what, four or five years ago, something like that, when we had that Rumble match? Nobody really remember that. People remember that match because they didn't like the fact that he won. That's just like when Batista won the Rumble. He got this boot out of him on his last run. Excuse me. So, I think Cody is going to win. I think Cody's going to finish the story and start a new, start a new one. And he's going to give his mama the belt. And he was like, Mama, Mama Rhodes. <laughs> and then you want to start the robbery, you know, between The Rock and um, Roman, because Rock got to go leave to go do a movie. Then they get Roman time to actually rest, rest. I mean, well, Roman's already been rusty, so he'll just pick up where he left off at. But Cody, but Cody isn't going. But Cody isn't going to chase the belt two years in a row and lose. That's never happened unless Cody turns ill, and that's not going to happen. Now, nah, because Cody, un, Cody is the new John Cena. 
He's the new Captain America. He's the one the kids love. He's the one that the soccer moms want to have babies with, even though Bambi, um, not Bambi, um, Brandy ain't going to let that happen. Just uh, call her dear. Huh? Just call her dear. I call her Bambi. It's also a stripper name. It's not just a dude. <laughs> I need that bullet club. I need that. That's not going to happen. You need to let that go. Because AEW got like 80 of the members of the Bullet Club. <laughs> majority of them over in WWE. No, majority of them in, in AEW. But it's like a split action. It's like a split. I mean, yeah, you got Cody, Shinsuke, Finn, the Good Brothers. Well, see, I really don't count Cody as part of being a Bullet Club. I know he was there in New Japan. And he, he was, was like, nah. Nah, I, I think of Bullet Club like Jay White. Jay White, uh, Finn, AJ, Good Brothers. Um, uh, what's the dude's name? Uh, the Omega. Omega. Those are the ones I can say the Bullet Club. Uh, it would be a pleasure to see him, though. Cody going to change his hair blonde. I mean, brown watch. Nah. What are you talking about? Go ahead, Forrest. All right. So. Am I drunk again? Sean. Okay. Um, you went from drinking that, um, that Virginia white, uh, white lightning to that North Carolina white lightning. So, you know, the grain's a little bit different now, further south. You know. <laughs> North boat. No boat. Okay. <laughs> no folks. We're not gonna start this again, yeah. This is not gonna be a weekly occurrence between y'all two, okay? We're not gonna do this. That's All my right? guy, bro. That's my guy. Cause it sounded like Forrest Gump. When he hit the belt, mama. <laughs> Sean said keep practicing. No, no, no. Yo, we're not gonna keep doing this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the show. I'm sorry, I got, I got, I got thunder, lightning, and police sirens. Um, oh, I'm back in, <laughs> I'm back in West Baltimore. Uh, <laughs> Where y'all go back? Y'all come over the east side. I'm in northeast. I said east. We don't count northeast. That's like Sedonia. Overly, no, I'm, 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 I'm below overly, and don't get it twisted. You know, so don't even be jumping. Don't even do that. <laughs> so don't get ridiculous. <laughs> I remember hanging out there with y'all. So, no, nah, I'm, I'm further up top. I'm actually in like you know the somewhat decent part where where people shouldn't be violent, but they are. <laughs> I'm in you the upper lot region you, area. You northern Parkway overly area. Overly is further north, yo. I'm like I'm in the middle overly. Could you right there with what? You at Taylor Avenue? Yeah. 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 But anyway, give me all my location. Move on. My he said, trust me, I know. So Isaiah knows. Isaiah knows what I'm talking about. A bunch of hard dudes that shouldn't be hard. I need to calm down. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but um, bang and shit. Let me go get my dinner out the microwave. Okay. Yeah, um, I need to eat too. But yeah, thank y'all once again, man. Next week we will not be here, but Dan Jones will be doing some correspondence on the page from WrestleMania Extra Large. Um, you killing me with that? You killing me with that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like soft wolfo. Okay, Sean. <laughs> um, okay, Sean. Okay, Sean. No, nah, no, nah, he's saying that people be tough and they shouldn't be. These are hard working people in this area. Y'all want to be that's absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you do know. Well, they be coming to my job. I be like, yo, stop. <laughs> stop. Go home. Go home. Go home. I love you. Go home. Go home. Take your go home. 
you know, take yourself and go home. Yo, um, like I said, next week we will not be here. Uh, Dan Jones will be at WrestleMania Extra Large uh, next weekend. So he'll be doing some correspondence from there, dropping in, you know, dropping in a couple of videos, a couple of updates for us, and allowing us to kind of see some of the festivities. Um, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know what that is, Sean. That's a must be a big thing. Um, <laughs> be a thing. Um, no, no. So, Dan, I said he's going to be at WrestleMania. Um, I wish I could have been there, but you know, adult life got in the way. Uh, but like I said, next week we won't be here live. But Dan will be popping up every so often on the page next weekend from WrestleMania. And coming back, once we come back the week after WrestleMania, we will jump into our what? Fast and the Furious series, starting with movie one and two. And then the week after that, Dan Jones is going to jump back into the under and overrated Marvel Studios phase two. April's going to be a busy month. And we got a lot of stuff to do. Um, once again, man, I say thank y'all so much for chiming in. Thank y'all so much for joining us. We appreciate y'all taking the time out today to come hang out with you. Uh, just Take to have care. Right, we appreciate y'all. But like I say, I always say, Dan Jones, you got any words in closing, sir? Yeah. Um, once again, thank y'all for tuning in, showing y'all love and support. Please make sure y'all share the page to everybody. We trying to, I ain't gonna lie to you, we trying to take this out there. I'm not gonna lie, we got a good response back from everybody. We trying to take this everywhere. Uh, thank y'all for making this from uh, a dream to reality. Thank Kevin for actually trusting me enough to be like, I trust this fat dude long enough that I can actually believe him. Damn, I'm going to look for you next time I'm in VA. Oh, Lord. We gonna he, kill I, me. Told you, I told you he's down there in North Carolina, y'all. And he's from oh, VA. He's from Portmouth. So, he knows me. <laughs> <laughs> listen. Listen. April it's going to be the month April, Anarchy April. We got a lot of movies coming out. May is going to be mayhem. This whole summer is about to be real. So I hope y'all like it. Share this. Share the page. Tell your friends. We're going for the juggler this summer, starting April. I'm not even going to lie to you. Some of these you probably going to hate us for, but you're going to love it for at the same time. It's going to be fun. Yeah. And as usual, in closing, Tell a friend, tell a friend that it's Two Fat Guys Podcast again. We love y'all. Be safe. And for those who observe, happy Easter. Peace.